In a shocking incident that has sent ripples through the transportation industry, a hydrogen bus valued at a staggering $1.1 million exploded during a routine refueling operation in America. The incident, amidst growing interest in hydrogen fuel cell technology as a sustainable alternative to traditional fossil fuels, has raised serious concerns about the safety and viability of hydrogen-powered vehicles. As we delve into the causes behind this catastrophic event, the incident is a stark reminder of the challenges and potential risks associated with pioneering advancements in eco-friendly transportation solutions. So what led to the explosion, and what does it mean for the future of sustainable transportation? Let's find out. Before we get started, if you want to help our channel grow and keep bringing you even more exciting content, please give a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We'll really appreciate it. Let's get right into it. On a Tuesday morning in California, a hydrogen fuel cell bus recently caught fire while it was being charged. According to the local bus network operator, the fire didn't spread to the major tanks at the newly constructed hydrogen fueling station because safety mechanisms prevented it. Only the dispensing portion of the hydrogen fueling station sustained damage, but the bus was completely wiped out. An explosion was heard from the bus that had just been filled, however, the primary tanks of the filling station did not catch fire. The company's CEO, Karen King, said the situation might have been much worse. However, she attributed the fact that the damage was kept to a minimum to the safety procedures that were in place, as well as the prompt action of the Bakersfield Fire Department. There were no reports of any injuries. Additionally, King stated that it was too soon to determine what caused the fire. The hydrogen bus consumed in the fire was one of 10 hydrogen buses that Golden Empire Transit had purchased as part of its transition to zero emissions fuel. This was in response to the newly passed laws in California that state that by the year 2040, all forms of public transportation in the state should produce no emissions whatsoever. The transportation industry is the primary source of air pollution because it's responsible for 27% of the total greenhouse gas emissions in the United States. This is why hydrogen buses have lately made their way into the public transit networks of California. However, there's still some controversy around the part that hydrogen will play in transportation in the future. In a recent interview with the Energy Insiders podcast, Alan Finkel, a former top scientist in Australia, stated that he does not believe the technology would ever be able to compete with the level of convenience offered by battery electric vehicles. The discussion on long-distance road transport and the use of large vehicles isn't over yet. However, several corporations have opted for battery electric rather than hydrogen fuel due to the far lower prices and significantly easier use. The California Hydrogen Business Council has asserted that hydrogen buses are compelling because they're comparable to other bus fleets currently operating. However, people continue to be cautious about hydrogen's role in the transition for various reasons, including safety concerns. This is not the first time that a hydrogen bus has exploded. In 2021, we saw another explosion in the Netherlands. However, there were no casualties. The potential of hydrogen as an alternative to fossil fuels is intriguing, but safety concerns regarding flammability must be addressed first. For years, people have been discussing the best method for the world to transition away from using fossil fuels and toward more environmentally friendly alternatives. So far, two significant contenders have been battery electric vehicles and hydrogen vehicles. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles have been the major competitor to the lithium-ion battery electric vehicles currently dominating the market. Electrochemical processes are used in hydrogen fuel cells to convert the chemical energy stored in the fuel cell into electrical energy. This results in the production of electricity, which is used to power the vehicle. This method is time and resource effective. Through the process of electrolysis, one kilogram of hydrogen can be produced from nine liters of water, and one kilogram of hydrogen has 33 kilowatts of energy stored within it, equivalent to approximately 100 kilometers of travel distance. The energy density of hydrogen used in fuel cells is approximately 10 times higher than that of lithium-ion batteries. As a direct result, it gives a significantly higher range, while also being lighter and occupying a smaller volume. It only takes a few minutes to recharge, which is comparable to the time it takes to refill a gasoline-powered vehicle. However, in comparison to their battery-powered relatives, hydrogen fuel cells have a few drawbacks including a limited number of refueling stations, a high cost of refueling, and a potential for lower overall efficiency than batteries, starting from generation and continuing all the way through the process of fueling the vehicle. There are fuel cell vehicles whose motors operate at voltages higher than 350 volts, which is quite huge. Due to this, there's a significant risk of an electric shock when such a current is exposed to the vehicle. Another problem is that hydrogen can spontaneously catch fire. 
compared to other fuels, hydrogen has a relatively high flammability in the air. This is because the amount of energy needed to commence hydrogen combustion is substantially lower than that necessary for most common fuels. For instance, a little spark is all that's needed to ignite it. Also, hydrogen burns with a nearly undetectable flame, making it more difficult to detect and extinguish fires. As a result, a hydrogen leakage can be a cause for concern, particularly when vehicles are kept in enclosed places, where hydrogen can accumulate in roof spaces. At standard atmospheric pressure, hydrogen swiftly disperses because of the small size of its molecules, so it must be kept at tremendous pressure, reaching up to 10,000 pounds of force per square inch. And due to the extremely high turbulent flow rate of hydrogen, the rupture of a pressure tank can lead to the formation of significant concentrations of hydrogen in the area immediately surrounding the vehicle. In spite of the fact that hydrogen disperses quickly, this emission will cause an explosive mixture to form for a brief period when it's released into the open air. So do these risks present a threatening situation for the drivers and passengers? No. This is because, at the national or international level, the minimal safety standards that all cars must be constructed to must be met. The World Forum for Harmonization of Vehicle Regulations under the United Nations is in charge of determining the safety standards for motor vehicles. This helps in the design specifications of electrical and fire safety components in vehicles. A research report on the subject was created by h2tools.org. This was done during regular operation and after an accident where the researchers examined the electrical safety measures and the hydrogen leaks. During usage and after the accident, the electrical isolation and continuity met the standards and there was no evidence of any tank leaks. Because the technology is still new, the upkeep and repair of hydrogen fuel cell automobiles is also monitored. To maintain the vehicle adequately, operatives are aware not only of the needs of the design of fuel cells, but also of the risks associated with circumventing protective systems. Does this mean gasoline is safer than hydrogen fuel cells? In a nutshell, the answer is no, because hydrogen does not pose any health risks. However, hydrogen is included in the category of fuels that should be handled cautiously because even while it's not harmful, it can be hazardous like any other fuel in the correct conditions. Having said that, the risks associated with hydrogen are distinct from those associated with hydrocarbon fuels like natural gas and gasoline, and they're also often easier to manage. Because hydrogen produces barely one-tenth the amount of radiant heat that a fire caused by hydrocarbons does and burns 7% colder than gasoline, this flame cannot easily burn a person who is some distance away. Victims of hydrogen flames are not often burned until they are actually in contact with the flame, which is an important distinction to make when comparing the safety of hydrogen fires to the safety of gasoline fires. In addition to this, they're not even suffocated by smoke. Hydrogen is not more or less harmful than other flammable fuels such as natural gas or gasoline. It is on par with them. Because hydrogen is distinct from other hydrocarbon fuels in many important ways, it often possesses advantages in terms of safety that are superior to those offered by gasoline and natural gas. But H2 must be handled with care, just like any other combustible fuel. Otherwise, it has the potential to act in a hazardous manner. Because of this, it's necessary to ensure that the right materials are used when designing safe hydrogen systems. The fact is that this environmentally friendly alternative fuel can be generated safely, stored safely, and dispensed safely after years of extensive testing of hydrogen systems, which include tank leak tests, hydrogen tank drop tests, garage leak simulations, and more. The results of these studies have so far demonstrated that the truth of the matter is that this clean alternative fuel can be safely used. So was the recent explosion an isolated case? On that, all we can do is wait to hear from the authorities. That's all from this video. What do you think of hydrogen vehicles? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. And if you made it this far, we appreciate your attention. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. See you in the next one.